What are the stages of Alzheimer's disease? Most people are aware that when a person is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease dementia, they can no longer take care of themselves because of progressive brain decline, meaning they can no longer remember things like they used to and their cognitive function or memory and thinking skills aren't working like it used to either. In that stage, this is called Alzheimer's disease dementia. But what we realize now is that Alzheimer's disease begins in the brain at least 20, even 30 years before the first symptom of memory loss begins. So let's talk about this long time course of Alzheimer's that scientists and physicians now truly better understand. There are people, believe it or not, for example, in the United States, there are 46 million Americans that have preclinical or pre-symptomatic stage one Alzheimer's disease. What does that mean? This means that Alzheimer's disease be is beginning in the brain. The pathology, the problems are building up in the brain, but they're building up silently before any symptoms of memory loss or cognitive changes are beginning. This preclinical or pre-symptomatic stage is called stage one. As the disease progresses in the brain, minor changes in a person's memory and thinking skills begin. They may lose words here and there, they may lose items, but they can still function normally in everyday life and at work. This early stage where people are having the most mild symptoms of Alzheimer's disease is called mild cognitive impairment due to Alzheimer's disease, or many people also call it MCI, or again, mild cognitive impairment. This again implies that we are now in stage two of Alzheimer's disease meaning the very first symptoms, but not yet to the final stage, which is called Alzheimer's disease dementia. When a person progresses from MCI to Alzheimer's disease dementia, they are now in stage three. In stage three dementia, there are different phases. You may have heard of these phases called mild, moderate, and severe. Mild is more early, moderate is the middle, and the severe stages is when not only can a person no longer take care of themselves, but they are truly dependent on others for almost every aspect of their days and of their care. So as you can see, we've learned a lot about Alzheimer's disease. It develops over decades and in the future, treatments and management decisions will differ depending on which stage a person with Alzheimer's is truly in.